Hi friends, it's Liz here. I am so looking forward to showing you how I made this fall themed album. And it is super easy to put together, very similar to um, another one I've shown you recently, which I will link below. Um, but this one has some different layering and different parts to it, as you can see already. Um, I like the effect of the layered pages and I've used lots of really fun theme, fall themed items. Now this was not my idea. I saw this on uh, Pink Strawberries channel and uh, I will link her channel below. She has some awesome projects if you guys want to check her out. Um, but you can just see here all the different little um, pockets and elements that I've used. Now some of the pieces as well that I've used in here I will have listed in my shop. Some of the um, ephemera that I added to this album I'm also going to show you how to make this at the end of the video and also give you different options on um, ideas on what else you can do with the cover. So um, see how this is just super cute and how it opens up different um, pockets in here. Now this could be an album so you can add different you know pictures in it if you want to. Um, you can write little notes about you know your event for that day. And um, you can also just leave it as an ephemera holder for snail mail or to send to friends. So I think it's just really nice when you have something that has a little bit of a theme to it. See the little pockets here. And then here you could add another um, picture, as I said, because this comes out. It does come out. I just watched it in nicely. And um, I just think it's such a fun and easy project to make. And you don't need, you know, that much to put it together. Um, I have used a combination of um, cardstock and also or scrapbook paper I should say and also um, I believe a digital for some of the cover pieces like the um, the pages from Calco Collage. Now I did use single-sided paper and um, that's what I had on hand but if you have double-sided paper you won't need to you know cover the back like I did afterwards. Um, but um, yeah, I think it turned out really nice. So here I just made some flip outs again and these ones have little tuck spots in the back so you can put more little pieces in. And um, these also could be used as photo, you know, pages. You can actually add your photos to them um, if you wanted to. So it was such a fun project. I really, really loved um, putting this together. And really once you get the, you know, the basics, it's so fun to make it your own. Um, I will also have, um, I'll make some of these as custom orders. So if anyone is interested in one, just send me an email and I'm not going to make that many. So, um, if you are interested, let me know. I'm just, I haven't, um, I haven't really started to make them, but uh, the idea is still there. So if you want one, please let me know by sending me an email, but I'm also going to show you some of the additional pieces that I have in the shop. Um, that would go with any fall themed items. I just, I'm making these little fall themed ephemera kits and um, I think they're just super fun to have on hand, you know, again, to send to friends or if you're making these types of projects to have something already um, to go. So last time I shared my fall themed um, project, I did show you some of the pieces that were um, going to be in the shop. This is the new little ephemera pack, which comes with the four little pumpkins. It will come with the four leaves, the envelope, which has a really nice um, edge to it or flap, the tags, and then two small mason jars and one of the larger kind of tag writing on mason jars. So this will be the next kit available. I do have my original one there as well. I am making them custom order. So as they get ordered, that's how I make them. Um, and don't forget to check out my shop for also my consignment journals. Some of, um, I have a few journals left from some artists that I am um, selling their work. So don't forget to check that out as well. And as always, questions, comments, um, leave them below. Okay, so now I'm going to show you my version of the um, fall themed album and how I put this one together. As well, at the end, I'll give you a different idea on what you could do with some of the pages. So to get started, you're going to need a paper that is five by six. You're going to score it half an inch on the side that you are going to be attaching to the um, other pages. So as you can see here, this will be my front cover. 
and then you'll need another page which will become the pocket that you saw and this page um, again remember which way your paper is going to be facing it's six by eight inches you're going to score it at half an inch and then at six inches and that's going to make your little pocket you'll see what i mean in a moment now with all of the projects i show you i like to sort of make templates so i'm not using my fancy paper to start and i suggest you do that maybe with even some um, just you know regular um, cardstock or scrapbook paper because um, if you kind of make a move a boo-boo you don't want to ruin the paper that you actually want to be working with so the next part is the pocket the other side of the the flip out i should say four by six paper again scored at the half an inch and this is how you will be attaching that now, again, I have single-sided cardstock paper. If you have double-sided, again, you have to decide where it is that you want your pockets or your flaps to open and um, which side of the paper you want facing up. So as you see, I've tucked back the half an inch from the base page, and then I'm going to be attaching the four by six pocket to the top. Again, uh, make sure that when you are attaching it, that um, your paper is facing the right way and by that I mean if you have um, patterns that need to be facing up that you attach it with the pattern facing the way you want it so that would also be the way that you would score your um, paper so see here this will be this will now become your sort of flip out pocket that we saw at the beginning and then I'll also be showing you um, what I have used to attach or close it, I should say. Um, but at the end, I'll show you a different version as well, just so you can see, you know, the different ways you can put this together. Now, this would be your front page, which as you see here, I will be attaching to the top. Again, similar hinge um, attachment like we've done before. And um, make sure that you leave the half inch um, score from the base page facing out, like you see here, that white piece kind of sticking out, make sure that you leave that part. You don't glue your top pocket to it because that's what you'll need to attach um, to the other pages. Another tip is maybe cut your pages ahead of time so that you have them ready to go and maybe label them as to where you want to place them so that it's easier when you start to score them and glue them on that you know you know which page is which and where you want to put them because you can always put this page you know further back etc i'm also going to show you um, how i'm going to um, keep this uh, closed at the end there once we've put all the pages together so now uh, your back page this one measures seven and a half by six inches and um, again if you have double-sided paper um, that's up to you which side you want facing you and which one you want for the back of your album so this is that part that I mentioned that you would leave that half an inch um, available because this is how you'll be attaching your back page to your first two pages that we've just done so again just making sure that it's a nice even um, attachment and then we'll be adding um, a couple more pages to this as well um, and like i said you know it really depends on what you want your album to look like um, what kinds of flip outs and and pockets you want to add to it, um, it that's what um, that's where you'll be placing them if you have uneven pages like i do here you can always go ahead and straighten them out afterwards um, so it's not a big deal and now I'm going to show you how I will be attaching the pumpkins to the cover now I like the idea of the pumpkins because um, you know it's fall themed um, but again you know you could do whatever you wanted to your front page cover and like I said I'll show you at the end a different way that you could um, add something to the, the front so if you have double-sided paper this works perfect the way i'm doing it but don't do this if you're going to be covering your page um, i kind of made a boo-boo so don't do what i'm doing now if you are going to be covering your back page you would save this process until you have covered your back page 
um, because this way once you've attached your pumpkin um, you want it I wanted it to show on both sides so I do kind of fix it afterwards and that's how you saw the different color pumpkin in the back of the um, album when I flipped through it um, so see how that looks there I should have added my back page cover to that so that's what you would do if you are going to be covering the back side of your blank paper if not then I guess this works fine so here's our little pumpkin flip out now we'll be um, adding the pocket to this back page you can make this as large as you want you can flip the pocket a different way I'm going to make it so that it faces um, you know this way but you can make it you know from the pocket fr coming from the bottom to the top it's up to you I'm just going to be making a little notch here just to show that it is a pocket and not just like a little addition to the page and then I'll just be gluing that to the back so it's also great if you have you know your scrapbook pieces if you don't want this to be a, a fall themed if you just want this to just be an album with your leftover paper scraps you can also just start gathering your pieces together that you think coordinate and um, you know saving your scrap pieces for pockets or tuck spots or whatever else you want to add to your album so this is my pocket here and I'm really really liking like I said I love the idea of the layered effect so I'm so happy she shared this uh, video on her channel because I was so inspired as soon as I saw what she had done so for my um, closure um, I kind of just punched out these little circles and I'm attaching them on either side of the first the top flap I guess um, you can always use Velcro to um, attach this close. Um, I will show you a different way to do it at the end, like I mentioned. Um, but um, really, it's up to you how you would want your little, um, you know, flip out part to be kept closed. I, I made it this way, but I ended up not really liking it at the end. However, it works. It closes. Um, it's just maybe I would do it differently Um or maybe like the second way I'm going to show you. So here I ended up adding a little piece of scrapbook paper and I'm only gluing three sides of the scrapbook paper so that I can tuck the little circle or half the circle underneath it and that's what keeps it closed. But like I said, when I think of it now, I'm not sure if I'm too happy with that. It works, it, you know, it serves its purpose, but I'm not sure if I'm liking how that, um, that was done. So anyways, that's just how I closed it and um, I like that it does you know keep it closed I can fold up my flap when I need to fold it out but like I said maybe velcro would have worked better or oh magnet system maybe might have worked as well so but I'll show you a different way as well at the end okay so moving on to the two flaps that we will be adding to the back these are four by six scored at the half an inch mark again keep in mind where you want your flaps to be um, you know flipping out to um, again if you make this a little larger so like let's say instead of making it a four by six page you make it a um, five by six page then that half an inch um, will be allowing you to have a four by six photo adding to this page afterwards if you wanted to so that's just a difference but for now it's a four by six page that you've scored at the half an inch and then you're seeing just how I'm attaching one on the top and then the other one I'll be um, adding to the bottom will also have that nice flip out again I'm making sure that my image is facing the way I want it to face um, and this is the way that I wanted to um, attach the bottom one as well now you can always make these pockets if you again have double-sided um, cardstock you won't need to cover up the white edge but I thought I would show you as well because it's easier to see I think when you have you know one blank piece on one end and the decorated part on the other to see how things are being attached so there we are this is how um, it's looking and um, I'm just going to cover the back as well just to add a little pocket um, to it now I'm, at the, at, I'm going to show you as I said how to um, make it a little different um, the cover and the um, the closure for the um, the flip out that we made 
this one I'm just kind of attaching just a piece of scrapbook paper or I think it, this is digital from Calco Collage and I'm just attaching it to the back to you know finish off that edge I will be attaching a pocket um, when this is done and I'm also going to be covering up the pages as you saw when I showed you the flip through so I hope you're enjoying this um, quick tutorial I'm going to show you now the um, different ways that you can do the cover because really there's so many ways she did it different as well and that's the one that I've done similar not the same in what I'm going to show you now she added um, she stitched hers to the front page which you could also do but I know not all of you have um, you know sewing machines or that you are comfortable using them with your paper products so that's why I decided to do it um, you know just attaching it the way I did with the pumpkin, just gluing that together. You can, you know, obviously put anything you want there. It doesn't have to be pumpkins. Um, but this is the second version with that see-through piece. This is actually a photo album um, little pocket. And then I put a leftover piece of um, packaging that's like that see-through packaging in the center and covered it with stickers. And then this is the other way to close it. You could just um, close it this way with your um as you can see here and um that would be a different way to make the closure the pocket as you can see here i made it a different way and then the flop outs the flip outs are the same way and then the pocket in the back so that's it my friends i hope you enjoyed the share don't forget to check out the shop if you wanted some of the um, ephemera pieces that i used in this album and don't forget to message me if you're interested in you know getting one of the albums that i make um i'll make it, i'll be making a few only not too many so if you're interested in one just send me an email um, but i'll definitely be adding the ephemera packs to the shop and um that's it. Don't forget to check out the other fall themed videos that I have recently done with some albums um, and uh, other tutorials, craft with me videos, etc. Thank you for joining me. I will see you next time and uh, thanks so much for stopping by.